Because you have to be somebody's friend mm -hmm. before you do anything romantically. And I had to learn Everyone that. skips the friend <laughs> stage, they too. They skip yeah. that. Yeah. It's they, a lot of girls especially, I will say, like, us girls be ready to hop into something. Mm -hmm. And I will say a lot of women, I think, pressure men. Like, it's, um, it's like, hey, nice to meet you. Like, hang out. Uh, relationship? Yeah. Like, We've been dating for be three months. Crazy. That used to What are we doing? It's crazy. Like, and then the whole, like, timeline, well, I'm going to be married like in two years. That's so, That's which weird. is, yes, like, you, you have a right to have your timeline, mm -hmm. but I feel like what switches is when the pressure comes in. Or if they mm -hmm. meet a man and he's not necessarily ready for marriage, but they are, like, they disrespect his boundaries. Mm -hmm. And, like, well... They pressure him all the time. Because, uh, you know, especially black men, they already have so much pressure on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. To be strong consistently. You can never have a bad day because you're a bad day. Like, once I see you have a bad day, that's all you are. Mm -hmm. Like, mm. I feel like they already have so much pressure in the first place that a relationship is is the one place that they want to have, like, some softness and some, mm -hmm. some peace. I've, I have a lot of male friends. My best friend is a male. One of my best friends is a male. And, like, just hearing it from, like, my boyfriend and, and his friends is, like... They just want peace. Like, that's all they want of their relationship is peace. Simple. Because that you, black men really get peace on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. Even dealing with their white counterparts, yeah. they're always made to feel, like, less than and smaller in a lot of mm -hmm. these areas. So, yeah. like, all they want is to come home and to just, like, be free and to have peace. And I think that's why a lot of men, especially black men, are quiet, too. Mm -hmm. Because every time they do talk mm. and, and they do, like... Emote yeah. like it's like oh you soft yeah you soft I, as hell. I agree like, but I do think that it goes both ways as well yeah I think as a black woman mm -hmm. we're expected we got to be strong Absolutely. and whenever he's Absolutely down we, we got to take care of the house yes we have to do everything when he's breaking down we can't we can't shed a tear we I can't, think black women need more we ask for, and I think that's where the they do next comes though because it's like they need peace and, and then we black love. women are so conditioned yeah. to be strong yeah so if yes. like everybody yes. if a black woman asks for like can I have something? Can I have a romantic man? Mm -hmm. You would think we asking for the, the stars world, and the moon. Yeah. And Wait, talk about. I wanted some flowers. If I asked nah, for a flower, y'all yeah. be wanting twelve hours out the day. No, no, no. We trying well, to get no. to the. We trying to get to the bag. That's well, see, not what I said. Okay, I said, well, this romance don't take twelve hours in a day. Ooh. Romance is literally they have bouquets of flowers that you can send on Uber Eats for okay. twenty dollars. Because it's well, like I thought of you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking of you. I'm at work. I'm on set. Some flowers pop up at her door, and mm -hmm. she's like, "Damn, he's really That's thinking." Fire. That's you, fire. You go, you on an hour yeah. break. See, this I'll is get why an hour it's good break. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. Lex and I were having this conversation the other day. Like, okay, men a lot of the time think that they're high value because they're high earning. Mm -hmm. Right. But then if you ask them outside of provision, outside of what you provide, what else? Mm -hmm. A lot of the time, men cannot answer that. Mm -mm. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. So, but that's what I'm saying. So it's like, just because you're high earning, that does not make you high value. Because Absolutely. if you're not providing, like, comfortability, if you're not providing emotional support, if you're not actually physically there, it doesn't matter the things that you do monetarily. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of men yeah. miss that because they, yeah. they're they so focused on, okay, I got to make sure everybody's straight financially, but what about emotionally? Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we know that. Yeah. I, I remember growing up, my grandfather was that. Uh, for sure, and I think that's the problem. That's a lot of our it, older I mean? yeah. uh, father figures and male figures in our life were that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we just gotta learn how to to open up more. What kind of lover are you, Woody? Like, how are you in a relationship? Damn, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. You, you had to ask my. Your ex, but like if you like if I had a conversation with like an ex of yours, like what would they say about you? Like, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. Do you feel like you're a good lover? And I'm not, we're not talking about physically. We're yeah. just talking about you know like how you treat her, how you court her, you know how you make her feel. being emotionally present. Yeah, and things like that. I don't know. But see, but that's okay. not an answer right now. But that's a question that you should ask. Yeah, because so. like she was I'd be saying, so, I'd be so locked in on work. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. so like I can be, said, all, yeah. I can be, I can be so emotional. Uh, uh yeah, baby. But then we homeless. I'm mm -hmm. locked in on like, yo, I gotta. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. I gotta keep providing. Right. You know what I mean. So I'm not really. I'm a lover. I'm I'm rom like man to. What did you ask me? You said what? Am I what? Are you a good lover? Are you? I'm are a good you lover a good to lover? the work. 
to the craft mm-hmm. that I do. You know what I mean? But I don't but know as a partner. I don't know. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask that question. And that's that's a big problem, too, because going into what you said of how, like, you know, they be working all these long days and they want to come home to peace, but you're not going to come home to peace if you don't mm-hmm. find you that work that And balance. I was going to say, too, yes, because men also, to, to flip it on the same side, the same way that women sometimes can pressure men, I feel like I've had a whole lot of uh, men that show no grace to women. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah. if he comes home and, you know, because women have bad days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like you said, we are, the house need to be clean. There need to be some food on the table when I get home. There need to be all of this. But let there be a day, like, that she I'm doesn't have that it. done. And then it, it's it's like a it's like a big big thing. So mm-hmm. I think you just you know both sides. But I think I love to have these uncomfortable like com- like conversations with people. Like mm-hmm. I have so many married friends and so many people in like committed relationships. And I think that's just like a common theme that I've seen is like the, these conversations don't happen. They yeah. don't like because yeah. it, it's a cycle as well. Like I yeah. said. If he comes home and he wants peace, you're gonna get peace because she knows that she's loved. Mm-hmm. If she's com- if you're coming home and she doesn't feel loved, yeah. it's hey, can we talk? Yeah. You don't want to talk because you tired, right? But she don't know what's going on because you but ain't we talked need to, to her in four days, yeah. Because you're, you're absolutely in on right. Work. That's why it's important to have that work life balance. If you don't figure out that work life balance, you are gonna be rich as hell in an empty ass house. 